I'm Kyla Monarch, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Safari Land holster for the Sid Sawyer P365, which is my EBC, my everyday carry. And of course, if you watch my other videos, I'm looking for a holster that's going to be comfortable for me. I am a curvaceous woman, as you can tell, but I'm also going through menopause. And with menopause, I have kind of like have gotten a muffin top or have gained a little extra weight in the midsection and I want a holster that I can wear that is comfortable for me where it's not poking me and sticking me and just being all around uncomfortable. I don't want any holster that's gonna give me some type of uncomfortability. So my quest is to find a holster that I can wear that's comfortable for me, that I can wear with my clothing, and everything just feels great. <laughs> with the muffin top, even in the area down here with my thigh area, um, just have to have something that's comfortable, something that I can sit down in, in my car, and not feel any type of discomfort. So... Let's get started. See how we get in this. Okay, so just simply just open up the container. And this is the holster. Let's sit that over there. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it is a Kydex. But it's a it's a thin layer, thin type of Kydex holster. This is the belt clip or the little clip to go outside on your jeans or what have you. And that reminds me I need to, to get a belt. But I'm going to do this video with just my jeans since that's what I normally wear in a way. Jeans without a belt. Uh, that's the most comfortable for me. Um, but this holster, it is thin. And you can see the inside of where the gun will actually go in. Um, they said on the back of this packaging that Safari Land also um, has suede lining on the inside of some of their holsters. I don't see that in this particular one. Um, maybe I would be able to try that one if this one is a little bit too much for the finish of the fire gun for the for the, for the firearm. Because we don't want any scratches and again, it's an investment in purchasing a firearm and you need to protect your investment as much as possible. However, I do like the stitching in this particular holster. It almost looks like it's leather, but it's, it's kind of it's. But I like the way it looks, I like the way it feels just me touching it now let's see how it's gonna do with this little mid session here i should say here is my edc my everyday carry here it's a sid sawyer p365 and it is empty as you can see I'm going to go ahead and load it. <clears throat> so now I have my extended mag, my extended magazine in here. As you can see, it kind of has an extension below here. If it was just a regular mag that holds just um, 10, 10 rounds, it would be a lot shorter. But this one here holds 12 rounds, so it's a little longer. And probably it's better for those of us that do shoot to help with that pinky. Because sometimes when you're holding a, 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 a subcompact or a compact uh, firearm such as this one, sometimes as you hold it, this pinky tends to hang off or it tends to be at the bottom or it just falls off altogether. But with the extended magazine, <clears throat> excuse me, with the extended magazine, your pinky has a place to go to. 
and it gives you more of a better grip when you're um when you're aiming your firearm so we have that in place so let's go ahead and get the holster and see how it fits in okay so with this holster I, as i said earlier i'm gonna do it with just my jeans no belt so don't laugh i'm a little muffin top you already know the deal <laughs> so i'm gonna put it just on the jeans You know, I normally carry at the three or the five position, three o'clock or five o'clock position. This is three. It's already caught in my shirt. Five is here. It's nuts real good because it caught on to that pocket. That little mini pocket that I have here, it caught on to that really quickly. So that's a good thing. Okay, so. I have the holster. It's in the five o'clock position. I feel it on my muffin top back here, my little roll back here. Um, but no pain, no discomfort. Let me move it to the three o'clock. Move it to the three o'clock. Okay, I feel some discomfort. The edge. See this edge at the top of this holster? This is sticking my fat. You see that? It's sticking the top of my muffin top. <clears throat> In this shirt, there is a budge. From the side, it doesn't seem like it's a budge. But you do see the imprint of something being there. And if you're carrying conceal, you want to do what the word says. You, you're you carrying it, but you don't want nobody else to know you're carrying it. Some people carry it on the outside of the shirt. They want you to know that they're carrying. But someone like me and probably a whole few others or a lot of others, you're carrying it concealed, you want it under your shirt. You want it, you, you're trying to carry it concealed. Discreet, you know. So... You do see the imprint, so you know something is here. Maybe this is not the best type of shirt for this type of holster, per se. But normally I wear shirts like this. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is something that I normally have in my closet. This type of shirt that shows every nook and cranny. And maybe I need to get away from those shirts that show every little budge and every little curve and all of that. For the sake of carrying concealed, but I shouldn't, I shouldn't have to, you know, I should be able to get uh, a, a, a holster that I can have underneath here and you can't tell what's going on. The shirt should cover it perfectly or it, sh it should just blend in well all together. So I'm going to reach over here for my EDC for my firearm. Let's see how it does inside. Make sure that shirt pull is pulled up and not go all the way. And we heard the click. Okay. Put it in again. Hear the click. So it's holding really well. It feels secure. It feels great. I just have, I feel like. The edge of that holster is just sticking me in my, it's just sticking me in my little muffin top. And the bottom of this is hitting me at my hip area. Now I'm going to see how it feels when I sit. I'm going to take the firearm out a second and I'm going to move it to the five o'clock position and see what I feel with that. Let's move this back to the five o'clock position and let's see what we get with that. Now in the five o'clock position, you know, where you do see a bit of an imprint, but because it's so close to this, you can't tell what's going on. You don't know what that is. 
but you can't that kind of hides they kind of hides well at the five o'clock position now let's put the firearm inside Okay, you see that? You don't want to see that. You see this? You don't want to see that. So again, even with the gun, with the firearm being in the holster, even at the 5 o'clock position, you still have an imprint or a budge going on that lets everybody know you got something on your hip, girl. You got something on your hip. So no, you don't want that. If we carry conceal, we are carrying conceal. Just what the word says, we are carrying conceal. Okay? So we know, we know that's not going to work either. Not at the 5 o'clock position, that's not going to work. So let's try back at the 3 o'clock position. And I apologize. I sound like I am full of <laughs> phlegm. Or something with allergies and it's probably my allergies acting up so I apologize so um so now we have the holster back at the three o'clock position let's put the firearm again back here okay it's there it's locked in okay But we do see that imprint there. You see the imprint of my firearm right there. And that is not what we want to see, people. That is not what we want to see. I'm going to get my healthy little chair. You know I always tell you about my chair and how it feels when I sit. And how it feels when I'm sitting in the car. Here's my chair. Let's see, let's see what happens. Okay, now sitting down, this is not bad. So, this is really not bad at all. Um, I don't feel it at my hip area. The top part area, since my firearm is now inserted in the holster, you don't feel the edge is bad. Um, so... Sitting, it may really work, but I tell you, I am feeling the, I'm feeling the grip. I'm feeling the magazine inside the grip hitting the back of my chair, and I don't like that. I don't like that. Maybe if I was sitting up like this, I would have no issue. I don't have no issue whatsoever. And I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm trying to show. See it? I don't feel it as bad because the gun, the, the, the muzzle, the top muzzle, the, the top muzzle, the back of the muzzle along with the holster when my stomach sits on top, top of it, it's not as bad. It's not as bad as some of the others that I felt when I do sit. So, this one probably could be something to look at. Or maybe I need to look along these lines, as you know, look along the safari land lines so far as finding a holster that I can wear. That won't be uncomfortable with this with my muffin top. And I'm gonna pull the whole thing out with the gun still inserted and let you take a look. See this thin piece here with the back of the muzzle. When my stomach sits on top of this, it is not, it does not hurt as bad. But when you remove the firearm from the holster, my stomach meat, <laughs> my stomach meat, <laughs> my, my stomach and fat or whatever you want to call it, it is pressing up against this 
and there is a slight discomfort because the thinness of this and how the how hard the edges are cut now i do feel that with my stomach but once you place the firearm inside it the the top of this muzzle it releases some of that that pain the, you, instead of you feeling just this edge poking you in the stomach, you now feel all of this. And this is more comfortable for my stomach to hit up against. But again, I think this may be the route to go so far as something to start with. So far as with the holster for me um, and something to actually start with and then continue to look for holsters as thin as this but also have a little bit more comfort right, guys i've already started sweating i mean that's a part of it <laughs> hi flashes <laughs> so i think like i said i think this is a good start however i'm going to keep looking I'm glad to know that there is a holster out there that is that is kind of comfortable, not all the way comfortable. But I may do another video with a different type of shirt, but with the review of this same holster and see how it comes out. But in the meantime, this can be a great start. So kudos to Safari Land for this particular holster of this firearm. I'm very pleased with the results. I'm very pleased with the hand, with the handling of the firearm. When the firearm is inserted, it is locked in. It's not going anywhere. Um, I do love the belt the clip. It is very tight. When it goes on, it's very tight and secure. I love that. It's just the issue with how it's um, how it's showing in my clothing. The um, the the magazine hitting up against the back of the chair i didn't like that but again if i brought it down to a magazine that only carried 10 rounds i'm i probably won't even feel that but in my next video i'm gonna talk about that where I, I think i'm gonna do another review on this one but just with different you know different type of shirt and different type of clothing so i'm really feeling this i'm really liking it so at least this is a start this is this is the first like for a holster for me for my um edc so until next time this is kyla monarch like comment share this video subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the next video on the safari land seesaw your p365 holster which I'm loving right now. Thanks. See you next time. Bye-bye.